the Lincoln-Douglas debates, 1858 in Illinois, were really still one of the high points in the history of American politics. They were unprecedented in some ways because, first of all, at that time, the people did not elect the senator. They were both running for Senate in Illinois. Well, Douglas was the senator up for re-election, and Lincoln was the Republican candidate. But in fact, it was the state legislature that chose the senator. It's not until the early 20th century that you have popular election of senators. So usually the contest for senator took place in the legislature. But here you had both parties nominating candidates in advance and this debating. It wasn't the first time, but it was quite unprecedented. But also, Douglas was the most important politician in the country. And in a sense, that's what made Lincoln important, that he was debating Douglas. Today, we remember Douglas as the guy who debated Lincoln. But what made Lincoln a prominent figure was that he debated Douglas. And so they went around. I think there were seven or eight places that they debated. But they really discussed the substantive, serious issue facing the country, slavery, the future of slavery, race, the role of the federal government. You know, they weren't on peripheral little questions. They weren't talking in sound bites. They didn't have teams working on their popular appeal. They spoke for hours, both of them, and thousands of people came to listen. In the end, of course, Douglas wins, which is to say that the Democrats win control of the Illinois legislature, which means they're going to be able to elect Douglas as Senate. But the Republicans come very, very close, and it establishes Lincoln as a major national figure, which he had not been before then.